1992 Explorer. I guess this is the same on uh, 1989 or whenever they start making these to about 1996. Going to change the radius arm. As you can see, this one here broke. And I strapped it using these tie downs to get home. And it worked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to change it at home. Uh, this is a public video, so I would like to show, as you have to, with all public stuff, safety first. We're not relying on the jack. We have safety glasses. And I should probably be wearing a helmet and knee pads and body armor and be in a plastic bubble, too. Um, replacement radius arm. I got this off of Amazon. I think it was $90. Majority of contents made in USA Ford Factory. That's kind of interesting. I'm not even going to question that. And I got a new... Uh, these are the bushings, the radius arm bushings. These always go bad. And I've used a whole bunch of these from four-wheel parts to whatever. And the best ones i found, the longest lasting so far, are the ones from Napa. And these are made in the USA. Got half-inch tools here. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull the straps off and try and get the radius arm off. You can see what's going on here. The bushing actually looks very good on this. Um, this, the big bolt was uh, inch and an eighth, and the shock was 18 millimeter. And this would be a lot easier with air tools because these nuts that they use are the ones that are crimped on the back, the uh, locking nuts. So it's not in there too tight. The thing will drop all the way down to the ground with the sway bar disconnected. So I'm going to drop it down here again real slow. And then what I have to do. I have to get in here with this guy and get this nut off if I can. Rotate this around until I get the right, right bite on it. So back up, you do not need the spring compressor. There we go. You do not need the spring compressor. You need to disconnect the uh, sway bar. So let's see how this comes apart. This is these locking nuts are extreme pain in the ass. Alright, so you can see the spring was captured on that washer there. And <laughs> it just keeps going. Um, it's actually not a bolt that goes all the way through because of the drive shaft. I didn't even think about that. It's, I believe it's got two nuts welded on the inside of the differential. So now I got, well, hopefully this is all one piece, which I think it is. And then this, this should back out. <clears throat> This should back. This would sure be easy with a big impact wrench. Okay, this is where I say stop until I can get borrow a big because I'm putting this big long wrench on here and I am putting my foot up on there and I'm pulling on this as hard as I can and the wrench is flexing and it's just barely turning uh, and this I, I want six point sockets to do this I don't want to try and do this with that uh, if I strip it it's uh, 
All right, day number two, I got some real tools. I got a heavy duty um, impact wrench. I got a six point inch and an eighth. I believe that's what it is. Inch and an eighth, and I got a real breaker bar here. So I'm gonna try the impact wrench first. I don't know if my compressor's got enough power. It's I think only about 120 psi or something like that. But we'll uh, we'll give it a shot and see. I sure hope so. All right, here we go. Ear Pro, Eye Pro. We'll see if it'll bang it off here. Yeah, that's one turn. You see it's loose now. These are serious self-locking bolts. They, Ford did not want this stuff to come apart. It's getting tighter again. All right, I got the bottom bolt out. Now I've discovered there's two more bolts back in here. So this has to come off so I can get to these two bolts back here. There's two 14 millimeters in here. Yeah, I'm yelling, I still have ear protection. I gotta look at the dirt. I finally got it apart. I finally start putting it back together. In putting this back together, I'm lining all this up and um, getting these all started by hand. And one thing I notice is there's a there's a lot of pressure on this thing. It's not just because as it the thing goes up and down this rotates on here there's one hell of a lot of torque on there and I can understand how this broke with all the off-roading I actually think this is probably the top of this with the way that's mushroomed out the top probably broke quite a while ago um, and then the bottom finally snapped anyway I'm working it back together what I did is I used this to pull this in to get that in there. Boy, that is one tough... There's a lot of load on this thing. It doesn't just want to fit together. It's all done. It's good and tight. Those are good and tight. Bolt in there. Sway bar is back on, good and tight. Uh, everything is good and tight. And... Um, should be good to go for a while. Here's a look at the broken arm. 